Hi guy, uh, as you can probably tell I'm uh, experiment with, experimenting with lights still, there's a big lamp off to the side, one above there, one over there, light off over there, it's just they're everywhere, I just cannot get the light in there, you see it all down the side of my face, it's crazy, uh, I mean I'm recording this at night but I'll get it eventually, we'll get the improvement, we'll get it done, I've, uh, I've, I've been looking at you getting a board and covering it in tin foil so I can have like a reflector sat somewhere <laughs> or uh, getting one of them like camera things, the big round reflectors to set up on a wall and uh, they're only about a tenner on uh, Amazon so I'll probably pick a couple up but anyway that side I uh, just wanted to have a talk about a, a bit of my history with the, the Sega Saturn. I mean, you always see like retrospectives and people talk about history of consoles and how they got into gaming and all the rest of it. But I mean, the Sega Saturn, bit of a dark horse. Nobody really seemed to like it. I don't know. Is it really a classic console to this day? I mean, I don't think it is, but well, people are going mad at me saying that. But I mean, back when I was a kid, I mean, it would have been. I, would, uh, I wasn't really a kid then, I was working when uh, Saturn first came out, was it 96? Uh, I mean, I, looked, I finished school in July of 96, June, July 96. Uh, left, went to college for a couple of months and then at the beginning of 97, I decided I'd had enough. I'm going to go and uh, get a job and work now. Stay with me, get on get course. Yeah, so I thought I'm going to go into work and do like it was a youth training scheme with part-time college study because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to earn some money for once because up until this point I've been living off like uh, two pound a week pocket money for years <laughs> and, and the odd paper round as the years went by. But uh, yeah, yeah, so I started this job and I maybe worked a month or two and I had, you know, it was, well, it wasn't much, but you know, a couple of hundred quid and that coming in every month and it just blew me away at the time. And after a while, I just thought, oh, I want one of these new consoles. And, you know, I think at this point I had uh, either a SNES or a Mega Drive. I'd switched between the two roughly a year or two before that. And then, you know, I'm getting caught away watching Games Master and st stuff. There's not, I had no internet access at this point. I didn't get that until a couple of years later. But, you know, I kept seeing that, you know, I mean, I was a big Sega fan at the end of the day. And, and Nintendo wasn't really around with anything. And... You know, the Saturn with the CDs and everything and the memory card and all the rest of that. And I just thought, this is going to be the system for me. And I saved up, you know, I put all the... Because back then I think it was about 200, 250 quid for the console. And I don't think, pretty much didn't come with any games. And they, I think, uh, I'm not sure, because they weren't large games. But I bought Resident Evil, uh, I think Tomb Raider, roughly. I might have bought that a bit later after launch. And then, uh, I think there was something else, that's, that's terrible, I think Bug, or whatever that green frog game was, it, it was terrible, that game was absolutely terrible. But yeah, you know, I mean, I was completely sucked in, like, Sega's going to do this, and Sega's going to do that, and it was the way to go. And I can remember, cause doing that thing that you do, where you read about, like, the, the, the competition, on like, Nintendo, I just wasn't interested, just the way I was at that time, but... You know, I was looking at the PlayStation and I kept thinking, well, you know, those games look cool and everything and they look good, but it's Sega. Sega's not going to lose out. You know, Sega's going to gonna keep going on for years and years to come. They'll, they'll break through events. So look how great the Mega Drive was. <laughs> and, you know, just, just like what happened to Sega shortly after. So, uh, yes, I made the, the, the choice, really. Well, I, I thought it was sensible at the time, but I, I do regret it to this day. Because, like I said, I mean, a, a year or so later, uh, there was a guy I was working with, and we went uh, at a work studio, and I stayed over at Islam, because he worked miles and miles away, so it was easier at the time. And as I was staying over there, he had a PlayStation, and I think he had Ridge Racer and, and Final Fantasy VII. It was my first introduction to that, and you know that just that was it. It blew me away, but I just could not afford that at the time. So I'd always rely on me old Saturn, and I remember I'd always be looking at these PlayStation magazines, PlayStation games, and just like <laughs> you know, like staring through the shop window. Like, Why did I go for that one? And I, I don't, but the thing is, you know, at the same time, I was very stubborn and I'm going to stick to it. You know, I've made this choice. Sega's going to come through in the end. And I had some great times with it. I mean, I completed, I, I can't believe how I did it to this day, but I completed Tomb Raider on the Saturn. And, uh, I mean, the one thing about that game, I'm not sure if it 
look better on the Saturn or the PS1. I'm pretty sure it looked better on the PS1. I just can't remember. But it was a brilliant game for the time. You know, going back to it now, it, it looks horrendous. You know, it's that typical 3D graphics. They were doing too much with what they actually had. But you know, it. it the great thing about it, what I always remember about it is, there's this one room, what a room, this cavern, and you come climbing up through this mountainside, and then as, as you're going through this side, you're, like, you're looking down, and there's like, remember there being, there was two pillars either side, and you look down, it's this massive, massive cavern, and there's a pyramid there, and maybe statues, I can't remember that, but I always remember this, it's like a, this emotion seared into my brain, and this like, music kicks in, this choir music, and the voice is singing, and at the time it was the most surreal it, 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 unbelievable because you just didn't get that in games up to that point the, mu the music and, and what you were doing they just didn't really tie together and I remember thinking for a few years after that every time I'd been looking for that sort of experience and just didn't get it but yeah you know I mean, that was a real game Resident Evil I've, I've never really liked like like them, I don't know what I call like them adventure horror games anyway. I always try to get into them, like, I mean, like Silent Hill and the PlayStation 2 and everything. I always try to get into it, but it was just wasn't one of my things. I just couldn't get into it, which was a shame. But yeah, I mean, I had a, 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 good, a good bit of fun with the Saturn. It, it was okay. Uh, I tried to get as many games as I could at the time, but overall, I was just very, very disappointed with it. Uh, I did buy one. Uh, a modded one in about 2009, 2010 there might be some videos on, on my channel I can't remember from years ago and uh, I know I, I, I got it all proper modded and stuff and it could play like any region and uh, copies as well if I wanted and uh, I really hit, hit it hard and went for as much of the library as possible but I just I don't know it just it never appealed really as much as it should have done back then and I own one for God's sake I mean what are some of the other great games that stand out in my memory and now that they're all coming back to me well, I completely forgot about these before I started thinking about what to do for the video but Virtua Cop and that was it the Die Hard trilogy or was it yeah it was Die, Die Hard trilogy what a game I mean it was it's not great by any standards but back then you know three uh, it felt like three amazing games in one package and again I believe the PlayStation version was better but you know I had the Saturn one and it was absolutely fantastic and you had the you had, you had that running run and gun bit at the beginning the first film and the second one was uh, was a shooter which actually wasn't too bad because I had the the Virtua Cop one uh, and then I got the um, Sorry, and then on the third one you had the, the driving game which was just rock hard. I don't even think that was completable. I've seen videos of it being done but I, I didn't think so at the time. Uh, but yeah, going on to the gun games were fantastic and the Virtua Cop ones. I mean, this is in, oh it would have been 97, probably 98. I mean, yeah, roughly. Whenever Virtua Cop came out, uh, it was like in a big, big, massive box with a blue gun, and I and I got on the bus because this is before I could even drive. So yeah, it was ninety seven. Got on the bus, teach road to the next town. I had like thirty minutes for lunch, and I spent like seventy, eighty quid on this gun and the Virtua Cop game, and, and it was just at the time it was so because all I had was magazines to read, and they were all rating everything, and I was so worried. But I just, I just, I could never even play it in an arcade of that, and I thought it's going to be good, it's got to be good, and I got it home, and, and I couldn't stop playing it. And I was like, like well, it couldn't eat would by the end, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, like, like I say, you know, the, the odd experiences you went along, and I think did House of the Dead come out, or was that the Dreamcast? That that's a different story. But yeah, I mean. I just I just don't know. It's like Sega really struggled to to get the good games and things, and I did try my best, and I, I kept it for a couple of years. But you just got to the point where you were thinking, I want something better, or it's not really interesting. And but I never had heart to sell it, and then I, I couldn't. I was still in that fanboy era where I couldn't get a PlayStation, and it wasn't until I'd seen Final Fantasy VII that I just fell away. <laughs> that was the end of it for me. So yeah, that's my bit of odd history with the Sega Saturn. It's uh, I've got fond memories of it, but again, it's not something I want to go back to on a retro basis. And I know you can't really touch on emulation, I believe, these days, because uh, I think because they, they did such a, a weird job by 
bunging chips in it left, right and centre that they're almost impossible to emulate or they can but it really struggles with anything you stick in there so yeah that, that I'll be touching it again much in the future it's a strange system anyway guys uh, as always thanks for watching uh, please rate comment and subscribe below and I will see you next time